Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. As you can see, I am now using Cam Studio. Let me just say this, this is not a permanent change. This is only because I really don't have that much hard drive space on my computer, and I want to be able to post a, like, a considerable amount of videos a day. Not a day, but you know, at a time. Like record. I just want to be able to record without actually having to stop for any reason other than me wanting to. So, yes. Until I make, when I get a new computer, then I'll be able to record as much as I want with fraps. But until then, I'm going to be using this, if that's okay with you guys. And now, after you get out of, out of Gaganga, you want to come here to Bone Village. So, you want to come, now let's go in here. Where is the City of Ancients? You know who Aerith is? What are you doing? The Lunar Harp is somewhere in the ground here. We could excavate it for you if you wanted to, us to. So yeah, like, if you remember, we need to get the Lunar Harp. And now... And now we need to, basically, it's kind of like a mini-game. Not really a mini-game, but, um... We need to take like explosives and put them around the area and, and blow out the harp so and, it, and since this part can get cut and there are um, other items there to do this I'm going to be looking at since I am using Camp Studio now I can play this in a window meaning now I can play this with game facts in another window so I'm just going to use that to help me out here and get all the items for you So, when you arrive, you want to speak to this guy. The Lunar Harp is what we after. We want that Lunar Harp, mother bugger. Now, to put it, we need to put it in just the right place. Okay, so I believe the Lunar Harp is on the second level. Around here. Order search. Now they kind of take a while to get up here, so I'm going to speed this up. Hopefully, hopefully, since I'm using Camp Studio, it doesn't make it like... It won't, um... Desynchronize. Hopefully, if it does, then I might I might just go back to Fraps. Get all the workers here. Each staff member will calculate the tremors and face the buried item. In other words, the point where the staff's line of vision meets uh, meets is the dig point. Let's see what they find. Hello? Oh, okay, we did we did in here. Yes, yeah, we had the Lunar Harp. So there are some other items. Um, so... Once I remember where they are, I'll get back to you. Actually, I was wrong. The other items that are here are actually not... They aren't, um... What's the word? They aren't, you know, found by digging. They're actually found by just exploring throughout this area. And there are two other items that we really want to get. So if you just wait here a little bit. Huh, I believe that there's something back there. There, there we go. If you see all that, if you, you can see that. I know you see that. I know you see that. Come on. Get over here. If you see that, there's a, like a little red dot. 
Come on over here. Come on, where are you? Where are you now, motherfucker? Where'd it go? Hey, go back here. Hello? Come on, where are you? I saw it, man. Come on, get over here. Where'd you go? I'm pretty sure it doesn't disappear. Oh, there he is. There we go. Kajada materia. Which really reminds me of a Khajiit from Oblivion, but, um, I... Uh, I don't know, does it look like that? I don't know, I kinda forgot what it, what it looks like. Okay, so I just went off screen to switch my party members back, cause as you know, Barrett and Tiva got placed into my party, but I don't want them, so I've changed it back to Red 13 and Vincent, and I gave Vincent Ares material. Let's continue. We're getting very close to the end of disc one. That's a plus. Water ring. That's going to become very useful for an upcoming boss fight. Moving on. Another good thing about Camp Studio is now I can just pause the video whenever I get a random battle instead of having to cut edit it out. So that means I really don't have to have any random battles at all. In the videos, at least, because, as you saw, I just got a random battle, ironically. Let's continue on. I don't think there's anything down there. I, love, like, I like how the environment kind of, like, shifts. It really gives you, like, a sense of, um, I guess, realism, I guess. Because, like... For the for when this game was released, man, they, this get the graphics were awesome, and in my opinion, they still are. Okay, now we got a three-way intersection. Which way do we go? Well, technically four-way intersection, but there are only three directions we haven't gone yet. So let's go to the left first. Chest up there. I believe the magic source, yes. So, this is where we're going to come next, I believe. Or is it not? Nope. Okay. Never mind. Because I know we gotta go north to actually continue the um story, I think. I don't really remember exactly, but we'll see. Get this chest. Aurora. Um. Was that a helmet or a. Was that a helmet or was that an armlet? Okay, it was an armlet. Um. Is that good? Uh, so this is what I have now. It's, it's a lot better. I won't give that to Vincent for now. Wait. It's pretty much the same, but okay, so it is better. Okay. You give that to Vincent, now let's continue on. 